So this good. gives you the breakdown. The public works budget in front of you is for five million six hundred fifty-five thousand two hundred and twenty dollars, which is four hundred forty-eight thousand five hundred and nine, or eight point six percent greater than um, the two thousand and eighteen yeah. default budget. Then it kind of breaks down, just like I did in the other ones, that wages makes up forty-five point six seven percent of their budget. Yeah. Contracts make up twenty-five point nine two percent of their overall budget. Gasoline and gasoline and diesel is 2.23, utilities is 6.77, and other items is 19.42 percent. Okay, good. And it just kind of shows that to you in the graph, the different um, pieces of their budget as a whole. And then this is the pie chart. Um, this is some. This is just like I had done for all the other ones. So it's basically showing you that the breakdown of the 8.61 percent increase for public works, and that's showing you the large piece of the pie there in the blue. Yeah. is contracts make up 6.18% of his 8.61% increase. Now, this just is not labor is, contracts. No, no, no. This is a contracts all. in the public works budget that have all been approved by the voters in <clears throat> one way or another as appropriations to be expended. It could be anywhere from trash, um, uniforms, uniforms, two new trucks. The lease of the lease of the trash trucks is the big one there. I think that's one hundred twenty-four thousand. One hundred twenty-four thousand. Yep. Yeah. And then the rest of the pie showing you the other items actually that don't fall into one of the categories that we talked about, which could be considered items that are more of the yeah. leisurely type for the departments or whatever. He's actually at a <laughs> negative point uh, five two percent. So um, the other items there really Leash. go to show that there's nothing in this budget other than things that have been previously approved. The contracts for that you were referring to, Rusty, for uh, wages would be under, the collective bargaining, I mean, would be under the wages. I, I got so that, but I just wanted to make three. sure that the public knew yes. mm -hmm. that when we said contracts, that that was not wages. Oh, yes, that it's not is wages. stuff that we've already approved. Correct. And that we have signed contracts to finish. Right. Yes. So, so just to be more clear to the public, those contracts, I'll give an example one of those contracts. Well, the, uh, if I can start, that you know, that we've signed a contract. It was a warrant article for two new uh, to lease two new dump trucks, mm -hmm. trash trucks. I shouldn't call them dump trucks. They we no longer go to a <laughs> yeah. dump. Refuse collection vehicles. Okay. The lease on those two vehicles is one hundred and twenty-four thousand. It's going to be in the budget for the next five years. This is the first time it actually appears in the budget, so it looks like it's an increase. Right. Um, <coughs> Landfill groundwater monitoring, because it's been mandated by the state that we yeah. test for PFOAs and PFOSs, is an increase of $17,000. I mean, where that was normally just a small $3,000 item. Waste tipping fees are, you know, we're into a third year of a five year contract with waste management. That's going up $55,000. Yeah. Um, just so people know, waste tipping fee, what does that mean? Uh, for every ton of trash that we deposit at waste management um, mm -hmm. they're charging us it started out at 62 it's now up to like 64 yeah it's the the finite numbers right here in the book but um, so all those contractual things we have the hauling goes yeah. seems by contract it goes up I think three percent per year um, that's that's going to go up 65,000 so I I went through the budget today and just on a piece of paper added up all those things um, of the 400,000 that it looks like we're up, 377,000 of those items are uh, contractual in nature um, to the point that, you know, you, you can't break the contracts. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the difference between last year's approved amount at 5,206 and this year's requested amount at 5,655 5, is a 448,000 dollar difference and 377 or 84 percent of it is all in the con in the contractual side mm -hmm. I w then went through and looked at all the other items that went up that um, um, make up that other 16 percent um, oh one of the things that Exeter sewer agreement went up it used to be a yeah. low seven thousand then it went to 23 it's now up to 30 something so in two years, it's tripled, quadrupled. It's that's up ten thousand this year alone. Um, but I look at uh, you know when uh, Christie said there there's some 
discretionary funds. Okay, street signs. We went from eight thousand to nine thousand. Mm -hmm. um, storm drainage maintenance went from it went up by nine thousand. Hired winter equipment went up forty-five thousand. Uh, I think you know we we haven't tried to hide the fact. I mean, we have two people out on long-term medical. Um, we have four, five new staff that don't even know how to drive a plow truck yet. So um, right now we're short two or three drivers on snow routes and we're going to be redivvying up the snow routes. So we're re trying to rely on this hired winter equipment to make up the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so those are the, if you will, discretionary uh, items. Um, wastewater treatment plant electricity is up 2,000. The heat's up 17,000. Water's up eight, and uh, the grease that we're getting at the Church Street pump station. If more of the restaurants would proactively remove the grease rather than um, flush it down the or flush their grease traps, basically clean them out with hot water and Borg's acid, um, I'm up 16,000 just in grease removal in, in over a two or three year period of time. So um, it's not, I, I can make some cuts. Further, but there's not much mm -hmm. for me to cut. I guess is the the, the overall message. Re yeah. Regarding the grease, and I have that flagged in my paperwork here. Uh, hopefully, a code enforcement officer might come in handy. I'm hoping for something like well, that. Well, we're also moving. We we've been working with Fred for the last year to rewrite the sewer ordinance, and it's got some updated mm -hmm. right. um, enforcement language and. Uh, in there so as soon as we get that cleared by our engineers and back before the board yeah. it'll give us uh, teeth that this spring when we go do our preliminary inspections we can talk about more about the proper procedure yeah because people should not be allowed to pour grease what? into the sewer system right. that makes a dreadful mess mm -hmm. so uh, thank you for mentioning that and that is one of my big concerns as far as recycling too now, don't we have to pay for that when we're before we didn't? Recycling is up slightly. Um, we um, we never used to have to pay before. Right. Um, they did some audits. They've got us at we're about 10% contaminated, meaning that they want us to pay for 10% of all the recycling. Yeah. We've asked for another audit to be conducted this month. They've got it scheduled for December 7th. Um, hopefully that audit combined with the other past audits which had us down below 5% and were allowed 5% mm -hmm. contamination um, really um, I, I'm hoping we can curb that but is some of that money in this budget yes it is um, you know last week the guys were telling me they dumped recycling and somebody had the whole mum in there including the plastic plant Wonderful. thinking maybe that we'd separate the mum from the plastic plant we don't um, that's the contaminant kind of contamination that if it goes down to yeah. waste management bill yeah. Ripa, they'll count that against us and yeah. we'll pay long term so those kind of things need to Chris stop. Could, could you just go ahead you mentioned groundwater monitoring could you just explain to people what that is I mean and where it is yeah. that we're monitoring sure we have um, about 10 monitoring sites around the landfill some of them uh, in wells and some of them are surface water sites. Mm -hmm. uh, the most one that people might see the most often is there's one over by the skateboard park. The rest of them tend to be behind the fence. Um, we haven't backed off uh, under Fred's and the board's direction for the last four or five years of, of not li limiting the, uh, what we've been asked to test for. For instance, vol volatile organics. That uh, gasoline is a volatile organic. Yeah. Um, but also, what's happened as a result of I think the the Cobain th issue in Merrimack, uh, Coakley landfill, et cetera, et cetera. The state issued a statewide order uh, to all uh, secure landfills and some other uh, sites that we had to now start testing for PFOAs and POSs. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, the chemicals that we've been testing for. We're looking for concentrations in parts per thousands or parts per million. Mm -hmm. In this PFOAs, we're looking for parts per billion, um, which is very costly test to run. Mm -hmm. um, so we do, I think it's three groundwater samples per year. Mm -hmm. 
and we've we're complying with the state's order. As a matter of fact, they've sent recent communication. Um, last year's was a temporary. They're going to automatically kick it into the next year. Mm -hmm. So we've we have to go to an outside lab for that. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. um, that's really driven up our. our that's where instead of three thousand dollars of testing, we're now at like twenty one or twenty two thousand dollars worth of testing for the yeah. landfill. Um, but it's in an effort to be you know responsible right. and prove that. Would we are not the it's for the benefit of the people. It is. It is. Um, one, could I follow up on sure. that very briefly? Does it, in your testing, Chris, does it show the flows coming out of the landfill? You know, I've expressed concerns about Well 22, the newest mm -hmm. water uh, well, and and uh, trying to find out whether there's migration from the landfill over to uh, behind Woodland Road, where the new Well 22 is located. So do any of your tests give you an idea of the migration or flow from the landfill? There's a, there's a groundwater map for the defined flow under the landfill, but it goes basically from landing road right under Brazonix, that those condos right into the marsh. Uh -huh. It does not go in any other direction. Okay. So just a note on that. Yeah, I just we have your most recent one was done in October. Right. And they test for all the known components. And this is very important because yes. yeah, the number one, every single landfill mm -hmm. is gonna be leaking out the, yeah. these PFCs. But it is such an ubiquitous chemical spread throughout our environment that it's showing up in the wastewater that we receive and um, in the waste sludge that we deliver to waste management. Wow. The process doesn't reduce it, eliminate it, but it doesn't really concentrate it either. It's just, it's a, it's a very stable chemical within all aspects of what we deal with. Hmm. But I think it's definitely needed work to we Oh, definitely. I think, more, you I know, think what is going on because they are everywhere, like you're saying, right. but at least if we are monitoring yeah. it and the state knows what's going on right everyone and so is everybody and I mean we're trying we're all trying to get a handle yeah. on what is a good limit bad limit yeah. uh, where is it coming from where is it going to well in fact when the landfill was closed and I was on the board when the landfill was closed um, a nice gentleman who used to work in one of the uh, gas stations uptown had told me that they would take their containers of oil or whatever they changed and the leftovers in the gas stations, all of them, not just one, and they would just uh, bang a cover on the top of it and bring it over to the, what was then the dump mm -hmm. and pour it in there. And I've always wondered what that stuff is doing under the landfill. Have those drums broken? Is the old messy stuff from the gas stations uh, running around underneath there? just a thought. Yep. I, uh, on the transfer station, are we on that? We're, we're doing the whole budget. Sure, right? we're doing the whole budget. You okay, know, uh, transfer yeah, station. Really, if you want, why don't we go right back to the start and, and yeah, you know, I would like all right, okay. page one. You know, we'll go page through administration three. first. Yep. Anything under the administration part of it? He's okay. answered my questions. Um, federal stormwater requirements are we eligible for any grants on that? No. No, of no. course not. Federal program and no grants. Okay. No. The, the grant or the break they gave us, and the reason why we went down from 40 to 20, is they took what they wanted us to do in the past over two years and have now spread it out over five. So they softened the landing on the, the new permit. Oh, okay. And the paving and reconstruction, you've got a zero? We don't use that line anymore. Don't use the we line use anymore. The uh, highway block grant. Funding. Okay, I'm on the next page. <coughs> Anybody else on this page? We'll go to the next one: cleaning and maintenance. No, I don't have anything there. The storm footage. I have. Why are we zeroing out drainage the drainage construction? construction? Yeah. Storm drainage. It was in an effort to level out the budget. Uh, we are hoping to move forward with some more in articles that would improve 
uh, drainage systems on Moulton and Lock Road, oh, okay. and that would be where we focus our energy for drainage construction. Okay, but isn't isn't our drainage in the same shape that some of our sewers are? It's yes, open. it is. Yeah. And, but and that we we really need to eventually start looking at that. You just talked about it a little while ago about the one on Drake Side Road, mm -hmm. and that's new construction. So. Uh, although I, I commend you for this and keeping your budget low, at some point we're going to have to start working at putting some money back in there. Right we're now we're just taking the project, down. taking the tack project by project, and you know, yeah. bringing the project com complete to the war to the voters as a form of a warrant. So, a question on that. So this is going to be like a similar type project as to what you did down Anne's Lane. You sort of exactly. tackled everything at one time. Okay. All right. yep. Thank you. And sidewalks and curbs, you you zero that as same again the same thing. Same thing. I, uh, mm -hmm. When we get ready to go over Warren articles, we lump together Warren articles yeah. and ADA improvements. Come up with a much more okay. a higher, much higher number. Uh, I think my initial draft was a hundred thousand uh, dollars because at twenty five thousand, we're not right. We're not getting. You're right. Anything done. A few panels and one of those ADA uh, placards mm -hmm. to have curb reset, pour the concrete, put in the ADA panel. You're talking almost like $2,500. Like you don't get, you need the larger project to make it efficient. So if you're going to do the sidewalks uh, for the schools on Winnicott and stuff, that separate article with the or separate project that the school has been talking about. It'll be a separate it's, warrant. Article. It would be, be a separate, separate warrant. warrant. Article. Yeah. Yep. Good. Going now, low. You have salt and winter sand, and you you've dropped those a little bit. You've had right. The the salt price actually dropped, so oh we re, we we're still using the same number of yards yeah. or tons that we buy, but because the price dropped, we just recalculated it, and it was wow. worked Good. out to a fifteen percent. Um, we th also think we have some sa sand. We haven't bought sand even in our prior contract. I had ordered our former uh, foreman to do it, but uh, he's no longer with us. Uh, something I haven't picked up from um, his duties. But uh, yeah, it, it, there again, we were attempting. Um, the first time we went through this, there was a lot in here. And, yeah. and we were asked, you know, sharpen your pencil. And this is where we sharpened our pencil. <laughs> And then on the hired equipment, the winner. That's where we didn't sharpen the pencil because mm -hmm. of the staff being down. Um, right. Five new staff members uh, that have never really plowed snow. Um, we feel we're, if it's anything like the last winter, we're going to end up yeah. relying on these contractors. Yeah. Okay. It, you know, that's one of those things. If it doesn't snow, we're praying. Um, but we just don't spend it. Yeah. I mean, it's Good. I'll set on that page. Section, yeah. Go to the next one. <coughs> Let's see. It's wastewater treatment plant. Career incentives. That was written into the new um, collective bargaining agreement contract that the town approved last year. Okay. And that that's a positive, right? Because that means people are getting more. It is. Right. It's they're training. using our education line. They're they're working for under the uh, road. Scholar program. Road scholar program. And you, and you look at it, and it's a, you know it's a big percentage up, but it's only it's a big percentage up. Twenty one hundred dollar increase. You know, uh, mm -hmm. the staff is really excited about it. Good. Um, it's a new energy. And we right. already talked about the grease disposal, which has got to stop being poured down the drains. Um, recycling, hauling. Fifty seven thousand. Now that's. Yeah. That's when you've got the se the actual se se segregated right. recycling. But the contract, we entered in a new contract with the board's authority in July 1. We went from 300 to 450 a haul. Yeah. Um, Are we going to get, Chris, a list of what is acceptable now in the recycling carts? Because there are some questions about so we're working on a whole new web page revamp and right. the issue that we work with is just like waste management. Right. It's a very fluid market for recycling. Right. So we're using their information as the basis for our information. Because so people need to know. And what I they encourage can. anybody to go to our website. We have the link to waste management's website. Yeah. They go in detail and give examples. 
you know, if I can say it once or a million times, do not put the plastic bags in the recycling right. bin. They are not recyclable. It doesn't matter if you put recycling plastic bottles in a bag, they'll void out the fact that the bottles are recyclable. Um, yeah. They're not meant to be put in a recycle bin. Hoses are not recyclable. But if you go to that waste management Christmas website, lights are not recyclable. Christmas but, lights are not recyclable. But a lot of people <laughs> don't have, or especially a lot of older people, don't have computers. Then can the we post something on Channel 22? Throw it away. We certainly <laughs> or, can. Because, yeah, yeah something readable um, on Channel 22, because I think people need some guidance. Because okay. I'm even standing there saying, you know, and what am I doing? Should I throw it away? It's been it asked before, not? but is that something we can put in with a tax bill? No. That's what I thought. No. So. But the, the public does need to know, the public at large does need to know what should go in. Yeah, but I think between now and then, if anyone's in doubt, they should just throw it away because it's not worth getting charged the contamination fee. Exactly. It's going to get taken to the landfill and get taken care of if it gets thrown away. I have a question under administration. Just the increases in engineering and lab analysis, can you just... For the wastewater treatment plant? Yeah. Um, the lab analysis is prim primarily due to the fact that we're still testing uh, Tide Mill Creek at the Route 101 bridge. Um, okay. The type of lab equipment, sampling equipment that they had to buy uh, that we normally bought doesn't allow us to test for that kind of water. Um, so that's why that's up dramatically. Um, it went up, as you can see, last year we asked for 14.5, we've already spent 15.2. And we still have two more months worth wow. of testing. Until the force main is completed next June, we're still going to have to comply with that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And um, same thing with respect to the engineering. Um, you know, for instance, uh, Fred very smartly said, you know, when you test for PFOAs, we also test for uh, within the wastewater community and the sludge. And that's partly where that, comp that engineering type because then we asked the consultant, tell us what this data means, and they wrote up a summary, but it, it's not for free. Okay. Hmm. Anything else in this pitch? And the replacement uh, equipment, the collection bins and stuff has been zeroed out. We've got plenty. We don't need to order more carts or anything like no, that. No, that, that replacement equipment would be for parts, motors, but oh, okay. we figured with the uh, replacement the, the maintenance bond that we have out there, uh, a lot of that's going to be taken care of in that bond situation. Oh, okay. Which page are we on this? We are on the wastewater treatment plant page. Okay. Last item is replacement equipment. Okay. Next is solid waste collection, 4321. Or sorry, the next line, 4323. Jim already brought up the groundwater monitoring, so I think I'm also with this page. Anything else under solid waste? Landfill operations, Jim brought that up. You will notice under solid waste uh, vehicle maintenance, uh, we went down 19% in, in the vehicle maintenance, and that's in anticipation that the two new mm -hmm. sidearm yeah. packers would le need less yeah. maintenance. So we tried. There again, that's the skinny Good. sharpening pencil. <laughs> Let's go to the next page. Are we on the transfer station? Or did we go that, what, that's the page we're going to now. Okay. It uh, starts out with uh, landfill maintenance. And then the total uh, sub. Yeah, sub I, I had a question on, under the transfer station on the vehicle maintenance went from 8,000 to 17,000. They currently are actually using Jennifer's vehicle right now because theirs died. They seem okay. we give them the old stuff, so that's why their budget is reflective of we give them the old stuff. But like oh, for wow. instance, right now, their pickup was deadlined okay. uh, because of well, we're coming in the end of the year. I, I want to come in in the black, um, and they're, right now they're using Jennifer's car, uh, the silver bullet. So. Okay. That's one of the effects. And also in line with what's what we've been spending. Yeah. I mean right. that's 
And then on the waste hauling, we already sort of brought this up, the tipping fees and the hauling, those are all contracted? They are um, contract items, yeah. correct. Okay, thank you. Where and again, Hyatt equipment looks up a lot, but you're only talking $2,000. Right. So. Yeah. Um, and that's really, uh, we were here before you, that's when we're trying to clean up the yard. Again, this is under transfer station. Yeah. So if we have to rent screeners for materials or, you know, move piles around, those type of things. Absolutely. Now you had, you had under there, you did have a, a line for screening and grinding. That was up 122. Yep. What and is? Those, those are contracts. So that's when the uh, company comes in versus us doing yeah. it ourselves. Okay. So not the ones where hired equipment, if you think like, you know, the flatbed truck, if we need to move equipment, large excavators that are beyond what we have we would rent them and yeah. use we would use them um, the screening and grinding is the actual materials okay. mm -hmm. anything else on this page nope I don't have anything. Seeing none. Uh, the last page we are at Exeter sewer agreement which is up and that you already explained that mm -hmm. What, what about the rye sewer agreement? Because that's revenue coming in. Exeter sewer agreement is revenue going out. Where would we see the rye sewer agreement? You'd and see it on the re revenue, revenue side. The you revenue wouldn't page. see it on the okay. expense side. And, and okay. probably as these, you know, as the work for the wastewater treatment plant goes forward, that's when you would see um, Christie's office would have the ability to uh, add those bond bond amounts back okay, in. Good. Same thing on the fourth, the $5 million fourth mm -hmm. Yeah. I have Go one ahead. quick question uh, on Anne's Lane, and I'm so happy to have that road open again. But when I drove over it, and the lines are painted and everything is nice, but there are sewer manholes that straddle the yellow center line, and the um, there's a bump there. It's like it's yeah, th this is in a really, I, I didn't know any better way, and maybe I'll get on Channel 22 as well. This is not finished. This is not no, finished I realize gaming. that. So what you're having there is they had to raise those structures yes. to meet a temporary condition. Yeah. When they go do the final, you notice this time right. they paved and then they cut out. Right. It will not be like that when they do the right. final one. It's just They'll a, raise them and then It felt like them. more potholes to me when I drove down there today. It is not a pothole. It's a temporary condition. Okay. I'll, I'll be nice and look at it that way, and I'll move <laughs> over to the right. <laughs> so is there any Thank other you. questions on public works budget? Um, I do, if we're, if we're going to look at, and I hope we're going to look at uh, vehicles, because that's part of public works. And I have some. got Ixnay. <laughs> right. The, at one point, there was a pickup truck in this budget. It has been as Jennifer just say it's nade from oh, the but budget. I'm saying, you know, Appendix E has all the vehicles for police vehicles fire. Vehicles we weren't prepared to discuss until we came to the warrant articles. Okay. So, because we have police fire and public works here, and I have really gone over the public works. Um, and you thank you, because you've been color coding and, and so forth. But I think we really need to take a hard look at the vehicle inventory for public works. So I don't know at what point in time you want to do we'll that. We'll be doing that when we do warrant articles, because that's when they're going to be in the budget. Well, not all. I mean, we have existing vehicles that yep, need to and be that looked they, at. They've talked about that with their, with your. Uh, We're going to be proposing a replacement to follow our CIP on certain vehicles uh, yeah, yeah. through the warrant article process. And I think that that would be a good time. If you have questions about other ones that we're not replacing, right. we can tell you the condition and right. how they're. Because I'm status. A, a little concerned as to whether we are um, carrying vehicles. It's going to come up later, right? That are just sitting there. So we don't need to. Yeah, these will okay. be coming up when when we bring up. So the we can do the highway inventory w during the warrant article. So that if if we need more, if you need to put more in a warrant article, you can. Well, not that. What I'm concerned about is having vehicles just sitting there and not being used. But we can we can go I, through I that. I don't think there's many time. of those, but okay. Well, the freight liner sat there since 2002. Okay, good. So, are we all set with public works budget? Yeah, thank you. All right. Do you want a motion to the bottom line? Or we, have, we, we, we haven't done any of them yet. We were going to come yet. back and do them at the end for the bottom okay. lines. All right. So. Good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm.
Jennifer, are they having you hitchhike since they nipped your vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> no, we share nicely. We gave her the freight line. <laughs> yes, I've been using the freight line. <laughs> <laughs> no, we share very well, Mary. Oh, yeah, that's okay. fine. Learn to play. Okay.